Now, you've seen what um, uh, uh, management professionals feel about objectives and the importance of objectives. Let's see how we can set objectives smartly, right? Set objectives smartly. Um, we are talking about S, specific, right? The objective must be specific. Now, what, is, what do we mean by saying the objective must be specific? If we have an objective that we want to improve the quality of our product, right? Now, that is a very general objective. To make it into a specific objective, we must say that we want to improve the hardness of our product or we want to improve the uh, longevity of our product or we want to improve the visible appearance of our product right so specificity is to mention the precise area of, of that particular objective the uh, m the second uh, criteria in setting smart objectives m m is measurable right now nothing in the world which cannot be measured is can be achieved because if you cannot measure it then how do you say that you have reached it okay therefore it is very important when you when the company decides on an objective it is very important to uh, specify a, how that objective is going to be measured right for instance if we are talking about um, uh, let us achieve greater market penetration into the market for uh, uh, radial tires right if a company says let us achieve greater market penetration into the market for radial tires that's an objective but that's not a measurable objective a measurable objective is when you say let us increase our market share in radial tires let us increase our market share in radial tires from 20 percent to 30 percent that is a measurable objective. So, the second criteria in setting smart objectives is measurability. We then move on to the third criteria, which is agreed, right? Agreed, starting with A, agreed. Now, the objective must be, must have common acceptance within the um, management of the company for instance uh, there is um, let's assume that uh, a company has this objective of um, employing sons of the soil in their uh, factories right now if the operations director of that company is not very convinced about this objective then it will be difficult for the company to achieve that objective. This is something which actually happened in the case of uh, one of the large companies in India, which I will not mention, but it's a large chemical company, which was not able to achieve this objective, which was the objective of the chairman of the company, because the uh, head of operations of the company did not share that particular objective. Right. Now, we move on to the fourth criteria, which is the objective must be realistic. Right. Now, realistic, uh, how do you define a realistic objective? There is really no definition of a realistic objective, but it is a question of how the objective is perceived by people within the organization. Right let us look at a tire major right let us look at a company like uh, MRF right 
MRF uh, says that uh, we want to increase our market share in uh, the truck market, in the truck tire market from 25% uh, to 40% um, in one year, right? Now, is this a realistic target, right? There may be several views on this. Right? Now, a realistic target is one which is accepted by most people within the decision-making apparatus of the organization. And finally, any objective must be time-bound, right? There is no point in a company saying that uh, we want to get into a specific area, right, without putting down a time dimension to it, right? For instance, um, Reliance, which normally is very, very time conscious, has made the, uh, the mistake of uh, putting down a target of getting into the oil drilling area without putting a specific target to it, right? And therefore, it is continuing to stretch and stretch, right? So, target is very, very important. Timeline is very, very important.